each of you unfortunate souls stood watch? Try then. I should watch. <laughs> Gonna. The brawny zombie looks at a pirate dangling above. Blackbeard eyes the young man. You? away from the ship. He grabs an oar. Bring her about! The tattoo zombie spins the helm wheel. On the bow, flames rock from a dozen skeleton torsos. As the cook rows away from the ship, Angelica and Blackbeard look on. Why do you do this? Eugenie, our laws be clear. Our laws allow the captain to show leniency. I've given this man a chance to determine his fate, a gift not afforded to all. The cook struggles to put more distance between his boat and the fire-lit bow of Blackbeard's ship. As Crum looks on, the missionary steps beside Blackbeard. Oh, you now. Chance to show the worth of your prayers. Pray he be delivered from evil. The missionary peers after the cook who rows frantically about a hundred yards out. Blackbeard lines up his target in the moonlight. A monstrous tongue of fire shoots from the ship. The flames engulf the longboat. Standing beside Angelica, a wide-eyed Blackbeard grins. As the missionary gapes, Scrum looks to Angelica. She glances at the young missionary, then strides off. Where the longboat previously sat in the water, a blazing fire now floats strangely on the ocean's surface. As the missionary stares, Blackbeard leans to him. You know when I feel closest to our maker? When I see suffering, pain, and anguish, that's when the true desire of this world is revealed. And I see it revealed when in times of hardship and tragedy, kindness and compassion are shown to those in need. Perhaps you should pray for him to be unharmed, yeah? Please, I'm sure. Again! A second blast adds to the blaze. As Captain Jack observes, a breeze ruffles his billowy shirt sleeves. Now in the captain's cabin, the tattooed zombie jabs a dagger, tacking Jack's shirt to a post.